Michael won't let me film him, but he's here helping me. He's over there somewhere. There's his feet. Day three, front yard's pretty much done. We had about 10 or 15 people here yesterday cutting shit down. Lounge is completely gutted. You can see where the original entrance was to the house with the lintel above it. So there was a ranch slider in this side. So we're gonna chuck TV there. Kitchen's mostly clean and somewhat usable again. Today we'll probably finish the front yard and gut the entranceway. Likely leave this bedroom till last. And then potentially look at this floor, which I knew was rotted out, but couldn't see how bad until my foot went right through it yesterday when I was showing someone. There's also a leak in a butanol pipe under the ensuite, which I kind of expected would need replacing, but just not so soon. Laundry's been cleaned. That tap there leaks out of the little side washing machine line. This tap, when you turn it on, leaks out of this door frame. So, the next plan will end up being gutting these two rooms and I suspect we'll probably just need to replumb them. Um, so we're going to finish loading the trailer. Michael got here 15 minutes early because I promised him breakfast if he was on time. And uh, yeah, take this to the tip, third run. day four and it's absolutely fucking honking down it's meant to rain non-stop for about a week now almost all the landscaping works done got most of this stuff all clear already knew the garage would flood there's no drainage no slot drain or anything so it'll have to go in Looking at this versus a video the other day, considering we had sunny skies and it's grey today, it's fucking bright. The natives we pulled out, I'm going to keep so that when I cut down the weeds and shit, I can chuck them off the edge and regrow them. Jesse's stepdad stayed last night, so he's living here while he's working with us. Apparently not too bad, pretty toasty, so it's a pleasant surprise it might be insulated downstairs, who knows. So we've got plasterboard arriving with a couple of boys to lift it at 2 to 5 p.m. today. I think it's about 11.30 or something at the moment. So we've got everything cleared. There's quite a bit of it going in the uh, lounge above me, so I'll just prop the joists just in case. finish the demo in the lounge. Michael's starting in the stairwell. Pine will be starting in whatever fucking room he wants. Got the tools inside now so lounge is pretty much dry and good to go. 
kitchen unchanged. My old man's turning up with the um, ceiling battens and some timber to frame out the cavity slider and stuff like that. And then the jib's gonna get stacked along this wall. I'll point it at your feet, Michael, you can run away. So I think we'll probably end up putting a floating deck out over this roof to fix our deck. That whole side of the house is all clear now, way lighter. All the way down to the washing line which we could only just see on day one. And the deck will extend across to there. Demo time.